University. Milwaukee police say this is exactly why they are always constantly training. And today's news actually became a part of the lesson plan for Academy recruits. And it's very ironic where they were today. Fox 6's Jenna Sachs, she was the only reporter in town allowed to watch them train. She's live with this exclusive. Jenna. As it happened, Milwaukee police recruits were actually at an area elementary school today training for this exact kind of active shooter situation. And today's news reminded them just how important that training is. In a simulation at an empty elementary school, Milwaukee Police Academy recruits confront an active shooter. Here today they go through a, a school shooter, an actual suspect in a school that's actively killing people. Weapons drawn, recruits make their way down a school hallway. A shot is fired and civilians run by. The shooter is taken down. They have to be able to determine who's a good guy, who's a bad guy, and be able to take that suspect out. Recruits work as one unit, clearing rooms and following commands. They are trained on how to enter the building and quickly move through the building to the sound of the shots fired. Experts say their first priority is to find the shooter and end the threat. It's a rapid movement and it's, it's to the exact location where the suspect is. Training like this takes place often in all kinds of buildings. We're doing some, some uh, active shooter training at a church now. We did some active shooter training at a, a movie theater. Friday, training was put on hold briefly when news reached recruits of the deadly school shooting in Connecticut. We turned on the news and we actually had all the recruits watch it. Those reports became part of the day's lesson. It actually validates the training. Um, we've had a lot of active shooter incidents in Wisconsin the past year, and these new kids, they hear it, but they don't actually get to see it. And MPD also offers training to the private sector as well on how to prepare for these kinds of active shooter situations. They've met with schools, with businesses, with malls to talk about that. They've given 65 presentations in the last year. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Jenna Sachs, Fox 6 News. That's interesting. I didn't know that. I'll bet they get a lot of calls, sadly, after this. Uh, thank and you they're for... hoping they'll get some more. Yeah, well, then it sounds like they want to help. Thank you very much, Jenna. This morning's tragedy.